Hello, my name is Graham Duncan, and I am the head and professor of the Department of Church History and Church Polity in the Faculty of Theology at the University of Pretoria. Church history and church polity are two of the disciplines that we teach together in one department. In church history, we are concerned to investigate the past with a view to helping us understand the present so that we can plan for our future within the church. Within our department, we teach a number of modules, and because we are a university in Africa, they all aim to have an African perspective. For instance, in our first year, after introducing our students to the study of history, they work on a module on the early church up to the early church father, Augustine, who was an African theologian. The main emphasis in this course is on the history of Christianity and its development in North Africa. We follow that with modules on Reformation and studies of the centuries after the Reformation and a module on modern church history where we begin to look at the development of theology and the history of Christianity in the modern period. Alongside that, we offer modules in African and specifically South African church history. To begin with, we do an overview, an overview of these modules, and then we look at some documents in particular. The emphasis in our department is to look at the history of Christianity from an ecumenical perspective. Although we do look at the history of individual churches, we are actually looking at the history of Christianity in global perspective from its beginnings up to almost the present day. In doing this, we look at various kinds of materials. The most traditional material that we look at are documents and archives, ancient documents which help us to understand what was going on in past centuries. More recently, we've come to see the value of what we call artifacts, such as paintings, uh, architecture. And it's amazing how much we can find out about the history of the past, for instance, from simply investigating how a building was developed and how it was used. One of the most recent developments is that we use another kind of document. In other disciplines, they're called living human documents. And that is, we use actual people to help us develop our historical perspective through the means of oral history and oral tradition. So this is how we approach the study of church history in these days. The study of church polity is studied also from an ecumenical and a historical perspective. Church polity simply means church governance or church law. And that's important for all of our students who are training to be ministers in one church or another, because they need to understand how their church is structured and how it operates before they can work within that system. So together in church history and church polity, we are concerned with investigating the, the past to understand the present so that we can plan for an authentic Christian future.